Four. Welcome to Interceptor Beyond Podcast. My name is Arthur and today our guest is an Austrian rock band Burnswell. I'm Ella from Burnswell. And I'm Luca from Burnswell. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to remind everybody who's listening to this episode right now to follow the show on Spotify or any other platform that you prefer. Thank you. Well, congrats, guys, because you're my first local Austrian band on this podcast. Yes, that's cool. great. Thank you so much for having us. I didn't know about Burnswell uh, until Ella told me about it. And then I checked it out and it's like a super group because all the band members come from really cool bands. Yes. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> you sent me one song and I checked out the other song. I mean, they're the blast. I wanted to ask. You all come from cool bands. Now you have this one. I can imagine there's a lot of pressure for from everybody to see what's what you're gonna come up with. Is there something like that? For me, it doesn't really feel like pressure. It's more like a lot of fun to have these people as well who really know what they're doing with their instruments and um, I don't know to just have more more fun with with even more people. In just it's just another project and it's a different project for sure. Yeah, like yeah. when I'm um, thinking about my first band, Mommy's Mantle, and now the second band, Burnswell. And of course, the pressure is more when it comes to um, combining these two things that really need a lot of time and um, writing songs for both projects. It's just a lot to do and a lot to think about, but it's cool to have even more people around me who want to do stuff i like <laughs> so yeah uh I, i guess we have to mention what kind of bands uh because when i said uh famous bands could you just name them quickly so that people know famous bands i mean you are like from the all the, the list all the band members that you are from yeah i mean for me you're famous ah. <laughs> <laughs> i've been to all the live gigs except one you need to ch you need to guess which one <laughs> ha Oh, okay. Anchorage, maybe. Yeah, Anchorage, yes. All right. <laughs> okay. okay. Because they don't play as much in Vienna. They they more like have shows in other cities or other yeah. countries. Yeah, <laughs> Yeah. the bands are Mommy's Mantle, Line Season, Glazed Curtains and Anchorage. And I've been to all the live gigs except Anchorage. Nice. Oh, cool. That's very cool. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I follow you. <laughs> right. yeah, that's nice. That's cool to know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Could you tell us a little bit about this band, like when it started? Because it's super fresh. Yeah. Sure, yeah. Actually, in, in the summer of 2020, Ella asked us um, if, if we we're interested in, in, in a new project because of, of, of different reasons, because um, she's motivated to, to do something else, to do something different with other people. Uh, then we, our drummer, Max, and Ella and me, we um, had like um two two or three um sessions just started with with two songs ella has written um yeah and i tried to to write down every instrument actually yeah. yes yes <laughs> also and the drums i started to do you play drums no <laughs> but i started to to write it down i i, I mean at least i tried it was in the first lockdown and i had <laughs> i had a lot of time for that <laughs> to check out new yeah. stuff and And actually, I don't know. It it was okay the the drum yeah. writing, but Max did something else for sure because yeah. it sounded way better when he played. Yeah, it. He, he brought <laughs> he he brought his approach to to, to yeah. the songs, his his own style, and and it was like, oh my god, it sounds great. So that and was the last time I really tried to write down drums yeah. because <laughs> it, it's just not yeah. necessary for him. Yeah, and it was, it was the, these two rehearsal rehearsals and and sessions. I mean, we we had a match. It kind of felt really good because we only had these two song ideas. Uh, one of them was uh, actually right. Our yeah. first song we released. We basically, after this, these two sessions, we had two more or less finished songs. And we said, okay, let's do it. Uh, we are motivated and we work like um, pretty fast on our stuff. Yeah, it's, it's pretty smooth. That's. Yeah. It was like a, a little push for us to see, oh my God, it, it works really good. And, and we can do something else as cool. well. Like, yeah, it's cool because music. Because all the, and, the music that we do with our other bands, um, it's all something else. It's uh, totally different. When it comes to the genre. So it's it's a good balance. Yeah, yeah, and I can hear it. Uh, well, let's talk about the first single, The Ride, the song. Yeah. Uh, at the moment, it's the only song that is available online, right? Publicly. Yeah. Yeah. 
Exactly. Right. And it's super energetic. Sounds completely different from all the bands that we mentioned above. I think it has its own unique sound. I really like it. That's cool. That's cool. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. And how long uh, did it take you from the recording of that single to realizing, to, to actually be announcing in public that you are now a band? Oh, it took a while. Hey. Mm, a long while. Yes, but like, oof, that's also, yeah, has a lot to do with the pandemic and all the restrictions yeah. because we had to wait to actually um, be able to play live. And then we chose the timing of uh, last fall after summer. We decided to go online in October. And that really was more than one year after we started to play together in the rehearsal room. Mm -hmm. So then we also wanted to be able to show one song after a while that we have been online already. And to be able to play a show, <laughs> yeah. like kind of in the beginning that we yeah. were like, hey, we're at Burnswell and that's yeah. us. Hi. And, and we, we started jamming and, and having rehearsals like in, in, in August, September of 2020. And we actually recorded right. Um, one year ago. Right? One year ago. It was in January 2021, I guess. Uh, February. Yes. Oh, right. February. Yeah, yeah. It was in in, uh, in a holiday um, when I, right. we had yeah. holiday from, from university. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's about exactly one year ago, and then in October, a yeah. couple months later, really we, we took a released while. this. Uh, yeah. How did you record this? At home? In the studio? Yes, it was kind of a self-built uh, studio. Yeah, it was a DIY Keller. thing. We did it ourselves, and then we sent it um, to a friend of ours who is very good with uh, mixing and mastering, and he mixed it, and then we did the mastering in a studio in Germany. Yeah. You also made a music video, right? Yes did it in the garage of my grandparents <laughs> home <laughs> <laughs> yes you're a fresh band you have a single and then you decide that you need to promote all the band or the music so what was your idea how to do it well hmm, to promote it i don't know i think now that the second single is coming up next week so on the 11th of february we try to promote it with the music but also as a way to promote us as an artist as well. We yes. try to combine this a yeah. lot. And now that there's the possibility to do more video stuff on social media, it's just like reels and those yeah. things, we try to use that. And it's a lot of work, but it's also fun, I have to say. And there's a couple of videos. We have some footage from our first show, the yeah. debut concert we, we, we played in October. Um, in in Chelsea, in Vienna, that was a great evening, and we also we actually shared the stage with Blaze Curtains, the band of Max, our drummer. Yeah. So he really worked his ass off this <laughs> night, <laughs> <laughs> two sets in a row. And the day after that, we had the music video. Ah, oh, damn! The music yeah, video yeah. shoot even after that concert it was crazy. It was rough, rough. Uh, those two days were pretty it rough, really but, but it was worth it. And um. <laughs> I mean, the way we promote it, um, it's like kind of a different approach. I mean, you you have you have like um, those bands, you know, releasing singles. That that's a thing because albums, um, you know, you 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 can't get more out of you know simple little little releases, you know, and but making ongoing content and stuff. And we tried a little different approach now with our new single, um, with the upcoming single, um, and we actually posted, for example, a, a little video of our. Uh, of the footage from a footage of our last show and we put the chorus in and and said yeah that that's what the song is gonna sound like here's a little a little snippet Just so you can listen to what's the song. yeah what, what's 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 gonna wait for you and and yeah you can pre-save it now and um yeah we try to build it all around this upcoming song and yeah. it's also when the moment moment is is there and the song is is uploaded after that as well it's it's cool to try and use this happening even after that while and um, um keep it alive kind of that yeah. hey that's the first so uh, the second song and um yes you already listened to it mm -hmm. so which platforms do you, did you use what's your main platform um instagram yeah instagram so, have you tried tiktok in each episode <laughs> i'm asking about tiktok <laughs> Not, yeah. not yet, not yet. Yeah. But um, we'll give it a try. Right, Luca. <laughs> he told me last week 
Ella, where do you have all the videos from the reels? Because maybe, I don't know, I would, I would just like to see how it goes if we would upload them on, on TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, man, yeah, okay, all right, let's just try it. I don't know. Yeah. Use everything you got. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why not? But have you registered the name already? No, right? Uh, Or what, did you? What do name? you already have a? Do you, have you done an, an account for us? No, we don't have one okay. yet. Mm -hmm. no, but it will happen. You have one week to do it before this episode goes public. <laughs> okay. 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 That's our challenge. So soon right, this is going to be released. We we're to going do. to have a TikTok account. <laughs> that's, so you can follow us on, <laughs> on TikTok. Okay. We have some homework now. We have yeah. homework to do. <laughs> yeah. We, we got homework, but it's, but it's okay. It's <laughs> not that much. Cool. Yeah. I was talking to one band from United States and they said that they uploaded the footage from the concert on TikTok and it went great, far better than the paid promotion on Facebook or Instagram. So you should definitely try out uh, sending those videos there. And yeah. what's cool about TikTok is that you can get, I think, three three minutes of video yeah. on Instagram. There oh, are okay. like limitations, I think, oh, uh, okay. one minute. And with Reels, I don't remember. Maybe one minute also. Oh, that's, that's interesting. That's very cool, yeah. yeah. There's a good chance that the, these things can go viral just by using the app. Um, I see it with other bands from Vienna who aren't quite famous, but the views go up mm. on a couple of videos and, and that's a way also to uh, find new people and, and more reach. Yeah. Yeah. Have mm. a bigger reach. So we're definitely going to try it out. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Why not? Why not? Yeah. But all social media takes a lot of time. Uh, in my case, it's almost like 50%. Okay, not 50, 40%. Yeah, it's crazy. Of, yeah. Of what I do for myself, uh, it takes so much time just to make all this content. Even like making this podcast is also a huge part of, of, of everything that I do. It's really great how you promote the podcast as well, because I, I really um, enjoy getting into these episodes because you also put these teasers online with the voice written down as well. And that's cool. Yeah. It's a great approach. I haven't seen that before. It took me a while to figure it out because uh, I try all the strategies uh, one by one and see what goes and or not. But for example, for your episode and for the previous episode, I'm not going to do... It's called audiograms. It's a text audio converted into text so people can read it and they can hear it. I'm not going to do it for Instagram stories because I noticed that on Instagram it's only 15 seconds. I mean, of course, the video can be split in, in chunks of 15 seconds, but actually nobody is doing anything with it. There, nobody's clicking on anything. So, but it takes a lot of time just to make those videos. So, in my case, it's better to do it all of it in the Instagram posts. Yeah, it's one minute. Yeah, and it can last longer, and it has a whoa, greater reach. According to my statistics, you need to keep trying, testing out what works for you. Mm. So in your case, try out TikTok, try <laughs> out uh, Instagram Live. Oh, yeah. Right. I thought about doing a live when the song is going online. Yeah. I haven't told you that good, before, but yeah. I thought about it. Maybe cool we could idea. do it. Yeah? yeah, that's a cool idea. For example, now is the preparation for Instagram Live. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> true. That's true. It's a very... Good exercise. For example, I have a I have a favorite question that I ask people on Instagram Live. I ask, uh, for which movie would the music of your band be a perfect soundtrack? Wow! Phew. Wow! That's a, That's a great question. Huh? I, I think our our, our new single "Twenties um, Forever" is uh, would be a good soundtrack on you know like a, a, a party movie like. Um, Uh, project x or something like that <laughs> you know like, like like a real like a real like a real fucked up movie right. you know where like everything is escalating and then our song is going to hit mm. and everything goes crazy and the house is going to be burned down and everything that like what happens in that, that movie would really I, think work. That, yeah. mm -hmm. i think all the other songs could more like um suit uh huh. mm. stuff like matrix or i don't know yeah, Because, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like this um direction of action movies but also very critical thinking and um yeah 
definitely. Uh, yeah, fucked up stuff. Yeah, Ma Matrix is, is a good example, to... I think. When Ella sent me the preview of the upcoming single, I wrote you my my uh, my short review, which is... Yes! The song is a killer, pure sex. <laughs> <laughs> that really made my day. Hey? <laughs> that was great. So how many songs have you recorded already? Well, we have, like... Um, in the near future, mm -hmm. actually tomorrow, <laughs> we have planned to go to the countryside and record our um, next three songs for an EP, actually. So we would like to combine, combine all these songs to an EP together. Yes. So the recording thing is on by tomorrow. Yes. The next two days, we're going to finish, probably going to almost finish um, three, three songs. All right. So how many songs are going to be on the EP? Five? Yeah, five. Mm -hmm. Do you know already when you're going to release it? Actually, we thought about September. Yeah. Yeah. This year. This year, mm. definitely. But not before summer. Exactly. Maybe that, that... another single before summer. But yeah, definitely. That's all not yeah, sure one yet. or two we'll singles, see. definitely. Because, you know, content and, and long-term thinking and all that. Um, um, but to combine everything in the end on an EP, that's the plan for, yeah, about September. Yeah. Also, for, to have for, something in your hands, I just yeah. love to to buy a good CD or something, and even if it's only an EP and not a full length album, yeah, it's yeah. just great to hold it in your hands and be like, "Hey, yeah, we did that the last year." Are you going to print CDs or something else? Yes, just CDs, CDs for this time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. No, no cassettes. Another my favorite question. <laughs> No we'll see. We'll see. We, we thought we about it thinking, as well. Yeah, we thought yeah. about it because that's that's a new thing. Like uh, thing like um like vinyl. It's it's a new thing that's coming up because you can you can put on real really cool designs because some friends of us also um, produce cassettes and and it, it's a great merch thing and it, it's not expensive and you can sell it like like for a real affordable price. Yeah, and and it's like you can make a beautiful um, merch. Out, out of, of it. it that's and true that's really cool yes and i also enjoy to listen to a cassette i i really like the feeling of it yes yes i was checking out the secondhand uh internet stores to see if i can buy secondhand record on them the, the new something and then do hand drawing or something like this for the promotion cool. okay it's <laughs> a cool idea so maybe you could do that i'm, I'm giving you this horrible idea <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like a lot of work <laughs> yeah definitely. yeah you, you, yeah because it takes a lot of time maybe you can do it instead of me so i can test on you <laughs> <laughs> i wanted to ask like with all the experience from all other bands you're like all professional musicians this is the new band it's a new chapter so it's a chance not to make the same mistake Ooh, good one so what things do you want to make sure you're you do right like this time, we're definitely doing this. I have to think about that. Hmm. Yeah. Big one. <laughs> I think it's important to put all energy together to really play the right shows and not play any show. Yes. When it's it's something that's maybe not so important, like for the moment, if there's a lot of other stuff going on. Yeah. So, but I don't think it was a fault because um, with my first band, with Mommy's Mantle. It was also great when we started to play live, we didn't really have so much experience. So we were so damn happy to have the possibility yeah. to play a lot of shows. Yeah. So. But not, uh, yeah, but, but that, that's a thing. I, I also think that's a good point. What I've learned or a thing that I, I, I'm not, I not really willing to do in the future is play 10 shows in one year in the same city in Vienna. Yes. Make one or two bigger things. And more concentrate uh, concentrate more on festivals or something, or you know, uh, making friends with other bands in other cities and make yeah, make a little trade. Yeah, a lot of connections. Um, but I really have to point out your argument um, or your your point where you said it was a good thing to take as much as many possibilities as you got just for your experience. Mm. So it happens. It's a cool thing to to play three three shows in the same city in one month. Yeah, it's great for the experience. <laughs> But it's a long uh, for a long term and professional thing. It's not something um, you want to it, approach. It's, it's not a thing we we're going to yeah. approach and to to keep on doing. Exactly. Yeah, th that's definitely really, one thing. Yeah, trying to get out there. Yeah. How do you choose the right show? What is the right show? Great other bands you really can connect with when it comes to music and also. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. It's just 
yeah nice yeah. people it really depends yeah it really depends who who is going to ask what what the plans are what um, um what the uh, meaning uh, of this um i don't know festival or evening yeah and could all, be and, of this event yeah definitely and and you know also i mean th that's a point of a thing maybe you 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 also have to 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 consider is you know how many people are probably going to attend this and and do you do we have a show one month before in the same city so we're probably not mm. going to play the same one and then we we're probably going to have to say no or at least not announce it before the, the first show you know so that's a couple of things but we'll see what what what's going to happen this year <laughs> yeah and at the moment i also have to say we're glad to play almost anything because we're just really hungry for Definitely. playing live we only had one show in october and it was such a great experience yeah. we all enjoyed it so much and it was just the first show so after that we had a couple of shows planned for december and all of that couldn't happen due to the restrictions in austria and um yeah the situation with the pandemic um i'm just really so much looking forward to being able to to play again who's doing the booking at your uh, in your band mainly i am <laughs> and you're also doing the social media she's doing everything <laughs> kind of <laughs> no i'm not doing everything that's not true really no she's doing no really we much. really um um try to see what part is suiting like for for every band member and for example when it comes to recordings Max and Luca are doing the main work because Kenny and I, we really <laughs> are not so good with that stuff when it comes yeah. to the digital audio stations at home. Um, mm. So we don't have any experience with that, but Luca and Max do. Yeah. And that's really something I'm super grateful for that yeah, we have I this mean, possibility. It's, it's saving a lot of money and, and we learn by every, True. every, every little minute and hour we're putting in. And, and that's, it's kind of a cool Thing. Yeah, yeah, that's the work work Max and I do. But but Ella is more, you know, the the organizational um, part of it. So it's also very very <laughs> ma many little things she she she's thinking of, and that's what I mean by she does everything because it's everything else, you know, just planning, planning, and telling us and asking us and communicating that's with so us. Nice. That's Thank a, you. Yeah. That's, <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying. What I'm off, what, what I'm also really grateful of because yeah. <laughs> oh, and when it comes to songwriting, that's another part where I have to say we're all part of it. So yeah, like every song Definitely. is really something that's quartered because um everyone is um has a lot of input for a new song, mm -hmm. which is really great. And in the beginning, as Luca um said before, it was like the, these okay, these two songs are written down completely. Let's just try it. If the, if if that's the way we we could imagine going from now on together yeah. as a team and that worked out pretty well and after that we really started to write songs all together because it already was a flow we already yeah. had a flow going on in the first rehearsals and yeah. from that from that point on yeah we really started to see what we could um put to a, a certain riff kenny had in mind or I had in mind and then the others say hey maybe we could do the next part like this and, and blah, 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 blah. Yeah. but when it comes to lyrics um that's uh mainly my part and yeah yeah so at the moment you're still figuring out the process it's not yet fixed yeah but i don't think it's ever gonna be fixed yeah yeah it's, it's, it's kind of work it, it kind of works you know it kind of works um it's it's a different approaches because um most songs we, we we write during rehearsals during sessions we also la wrote one song or you know took one idea and and recorded a little demo just uh, one verse and one chorus and just the guitars and little bass and just to hear it and then we took that and 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 wrote the wrote the rest of it in the in the rehearsal room so it it doesn't matter what happens first it always ends up us four being in the rehearsal room and 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 seeing how it goes fixing the song and 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 finish it finish yeah. it yeah finish the song from these two songs i could already see that it's going in one direction so usually you know when the band is experimenting one song is in a certain style another song is in a certain style but in this one it all goes uh in one direction so i guess it was like it's it's how you feel it's there's no conscious 
concept kind of thing in your head, how the EP is going to sound. No, nah, it's not really a concept. It's I, really how we feel. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, I, t- I, th- I think um, um, the approach for, for, for this year, for these singles, for the EP is, is you know, taking, taking the best out of our first 10 songs we wrote. Um, the, the, the songs yeah. we lo- love most, which the songs that work most, that, that are like the coolest and, 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 and the best. Yeah. And that's what we're going to take. But sound wise, as you said, it, it goes in, in kind of one direction. I mean, it's different beats and, and different riffs and maybe different sounds also. Yeah. It's, it's, I think uh, the songs will definitely fit together in this EP. In the end. Yeah. Ju- yeah just from, right. from the, the, the genre, the genre and, and the sound we take. And maybe something completely different is going to happen, you know, in one or two years. We don't know. But this is going to be, yeah, this thing you already heard on our Spotify. This is what it's going to sound like. For this year, yeah. Yeah. Mm. You mentioned that you wrote 10 songs. I think so, or 11, 12 songs, something like that. So I want to ask, so you have more material material, and you choose the best stuff from that. Yes. Yeah. This is like already ex- experienced musicians talking. <laughs> have you given your songs to a feedback or something like this? To someone who feedback, um, not really. No. Have you ever done this before, like in 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 other bands? No, I haven't. Maybe I mean. hiring somebody, like paying somebody to take a look at the song and giving the feedback. It's a thing I I I wanted to do once with my with my other band with Lion Season, uh, but we haven't done it yet. We we kind of do it because uh, I'm in by showing it to friends and to other people who are kind of hungry for new stuff and we show demos that's what we do with with line season and ask you know what what's what what does the song need to to you know to be complete and but with burns well we we didn't do something like this yet yeah it's... i think because every one of us already has so much to say about every song <laughs> yeah. i don't know yeah. it's already so much to think about yeah. When only the four of us yeah. are talking about yeah. songs. <laughs> yeah, but um, I have to say um, that our, our our songs we recorded and we the songs that we are going to record tomorrow, those are these songs are uh, the ones that the, the people most mostly liked um, during our first show. Right. Yes, I also got at the least two or three songs right, yeah. they, uh, of these songs. Uh, most people say hey, th- that one was a banger. Yeah, that was a hook or something. Yeah, 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 definitely true. And I think that that's that's the feedback we needed to to probably. I don't remember, for but I think us, that's, for the feeling to yeah. um, say, all right, let's fix this. Yeah, and, and let's record songs. these yeah. three, three songs mm. because they they were good ones, and we also prefer to do was kind of to a do thing. them in the first place. Yeah, yeah, actually. it was kind of a thing. These songs are also well, I don't know, two of them or actually three of them are one of the oldest songs we already have. Yeah, you said before that um, you have the feeling it's going in one direction. The two songs you already heard, um, which direction would that be? What would you? call it yeah now i understand why it's so hard to <laughs> to to explain to actually <laughs> i understand why musicians don't like genres <laughs> now yeah. <laughs> yeah. yes i don't know i haven't written that down <laughs> <laughs> that's okay you you don't have to answer it. yeah and we haven't either so it's fine you know the struggle it's 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 a thing we you can't always yeah give give things a name yeah it's it's kind of yeah, I mean, I was thinking not about the genre, but because I'm thinking always like from the music business perspective, I was thinking like, okay, yeah, I can I can work with that. For example, you know, I I know that it will be popular. It has quality. It sounds good. It's energetic. It kicks in really quick. It's uh, not too long, not too short. Like, nice. like yeah. cool stuff. I like it. I know oh, that cool. you're doing a good job with the social media, Ella. Yeah, you're doing great. You have Thank you so much. The website <laughs> is good. You have everything in place. I guess it's all because of your experience from before, because you already know what for to sure. expect. Definitely. Yeah, for sure. You So you got the feedback from the audience, right? So you had... Uh, how many people you had for the first gig? Well, I don't know, but Chelsea was completely full. Yeah. How did you get all those people? 
right? Is it because of the previous connections or? I think so, yes. There have been many people that all of us already knew at that time yeah. and who were, I, I, I think, who have been um, excited to, to hear what it's going to sound like yeah. when the four of us get together. Um, but also it was uh, great for us because this evening was, um, it was an event at the whole Goethe. It's a big street in Vienna where many venues are. And um, this event is called uh, Goethe Connection. Yeah. So that was very practical because I yeah. think there's been many people as well we didn't know at that time, um, only because of this huge event. Yeah. So it was like 50 50. It was yeah, I think so too. 50 uh, percent of our people, which were at least 50 people, I think, uh, went, if not more. And, and it was quite full. It, yeah. it was. So it could have been, I don't know, 120, 100. Yeah. 50 people. Yeah, around, yeah, yeah. So. And 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 the the vibe was good. The the um the people were were in a in a very very energetic mood. And yes. It was really cool. This response was great. It so. felt so great because I also think everyone was so hungry to be on a concert, and I'm yes. as well. I'm so hungry to go to a concert again. I can't even express how much I miss this. So yeah. I hope that the season this this year is going mm. to be great. Yeah. And that there's more of these evenings in Vienna. I asked about the uh, about the quantity of the people because uh, getting the feedback from the audience is very important. It's just not all bands can have so many people at the same time in the beginning to get that feedback. Mm -hmm. So, but you can still get feedback. You just need to listen for that response from the audience. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah, also definitely. actively just. Going to someone and be like, "Hey, okay, what did you think?" Yeah. Especially if you know that if you think uh, that the person really has good taste or whatever, mm -hmm. just and is being talk honest. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. is being honest. Oh, yeah. that's important. Being honest is really hard, especially with your friends. That's why I was asking about the paid way of getting a feedback because sometimes I, I mean, people musicians don't really like when i say this that you should actually pay somebody to get the, the feedback because mm -hmm. it's like and come on we asked everybody around us everybody sounds say it's cool but somehow i feel that a person who's completely disconnected and you, you don't know him maybe they can get a real harsh truth yeah yeah that's a, that's a, an interesting approach and i i think that would be cool to mm -hmm. try that yeah yeah because I did some research and you can get a feedback for 50 euros per song, mm -hmm. 50 to 100 euros. Of, really? Okay. Yes. There are websites dedicated just for that. You just need to do some research and who it is. And maybe you can actually find out who it is because I did that, uh, who it is on this platform and then connect to that person through just on social media. So that because when you use the platform, you need to pay a certain percentage mm -hmm. to the platform. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But maybe if you make a connection to this person in advance, maybe you don't even have to pay for it. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 yeah okay. that's cool. Thank, thank you for, for the tip. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to help all the all the bands to earn as much money as possible so that they can spend it on on music videos if we do a project together yes. or something like this. Yes. No, oh, that's really important. Definitely. Because it's really hard, especially in these times when you can't play live, how to pay for all these costs. Are you planning to get uh, signed by a record label? It's not our plan. I don't know. Our our feeling about that is, is more like, okay, we'll see what happens. And if there's going to be a nice, um, a nice deal or something with great people, yeah. like, why not? Okay. Um, but it's... It's not something that um, has to be done. Yeah, I think with Burns, well, there is potential for actually being signed on, you know, a major label or, or, or a, you know, a, a, a label with good connections and everything. That's that's kind of that, that, that's a, a thing I'm I'm really sure of. Also, uh, you know, uh, booking um, agenturen. Booking, uh, booking agents, yeah. booking agencies, yeah, agencies. agencies and everything. But yeah, that's not the, the the goal for now. It's it's. I think I think little goals help you know to 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 keep motivated. So 
I mean, there can be a big goal, but I think what what makes it, it really special or or what what gives us you know little um little moments of of uh, a fork to keep uh, the spark alive yeah to and, be, keep um, the spark alive and to yeah, keep us to keep you know motivated realistic yeah yeah um that's that's setting you know setting little goals for example you know releasing five songs and then an ep and with at least one song we want to have you know this this number of uh, um um streams or something like so like, like like little little goals or you know um building a fan base and and see what what makes how it how it works till the end of the year something right like that, yeah and also the goal of just being able to play as many shows in summer on on yeah. festivals yeah that yeah. stuff that's really something that also keeps me going right now yeah yeah definitely yeah have you tried already sending some uh, music to the festival promoters uh, agencies or anything yes yes we did a lot of that in in december already mm -hmm. um but i think due to the situation that it's like really uncertain times right now and also that um many festivals had to be rescheduled to this year the lineups are pretty full already yeah so we'll see yeah how yeah. much is going to many, happen yeah many festivals yeah. uh that, that were being postponed to 2022 um yeah the the most lineups are full yeah and and the most lineups are the same like uh last or two like, years ago <laughs> they were yeah like two years ago one year ago yeah. so uh, um yeah for this year it's kind of yeah possible thing but but I think um, maybe it's going to be spontaneously if we have the possibility to play somewhere on a festival in summer because yeah. also because of the situation. It could happen that a band of another country can't come because of COVID. Yeah. We don't know. So it's important that they know we are available Exist. at least <laughs> and, and, and we, you know, um, they got to know us. Yeah. So, and that's why I already texted many people and tried to make something happen. Yeah. But how did you approach them? Like for the people who never, for the bands who never done this, you know, how do you approach a festival promoter? We try to put everything, every information about us that's already online, and if it's not online, also to to put it within um offline into the the uh, description of the email, so that every song is is here in this one email. Um, every information about us, all the links, everything, pictures, and um, make it as short as, as possible. Yeah. You know? So that so as they well. just see okay okay information information ten seconds and they know everything yeah. and then they can. You hey, know, that's us. Yeah. We're from Vienna or yeah. I don't know. And, you don't and, even have to say that. And there's a PDF file where where our uh, press um, press uh, text press kit yeah press kit is all of that stuff. Yeah pictures um, and, and spread it youtube to links and the homepage link and then maybe one link for social media yeah but it's not like we already had so much of i don't know <laughs> answers to that so yeah yeah as we said it's it's, it's quite hard you know, yeah. to, to get a response and everything have you thought about doing uh, a crowdfunding campaign for the ep not yet not yet we're only um We only did a, a sponsorship for thing here. So we already um, did this application for one sponsorship and um, the sponsorship would be great if we could get it um, yeah. for the EP to make it happen, to have a nice artwork, to really be happy with the product and um, how it sounds like. We already know where we want to have it um, done, the, yeah. the studio. And we also did the first two songs with them. It's um, called um, Pitch Back in Germany. And we would just love to have this sound again. And everything of that, like merch and um, then having a nice artwork, having the perfect sound you want. It's all very expensive. So we'll see. We'll see. Maybe we get this one um, for. And if not, crowd crowdfunding would be, would be very interesting. Yeah. Yeah. But it's also quite, it must be a lot of work. What, what merch are you planning to make? For now, T-shirts. Yeah, we have we have um, at least one T-shirt design mm. finished, and it's in the making right now. Uh, yeah, it's it's all in the making, but yeah, yeah, there there's one one finished, and um, we'll see. We got a couple plans. We have one finished thing definitely, and the other ones um, we'll see what is going to be done in the end. But yeah, so you can take a look 
on the homepage because there's going to be all the merch,、yes. but it's going to take a while. So、yeah. but we'll see yeah, in the quite, next, yeah. the upcoming months. And then yeah, there's、soon. already shirts. I hope for shirts until our next show. Because the next show is planned for the 9th of April、um, with、yeah. dirty talent, talents, with dirty talents, and we're really looking forward to it. Do you have a backup plan in case you, you, your gigs will be constantly postponed or cancelled? We have one stream planned right now.、Um, so that's something at least. A, a live stream. Yeah. Yeah. Live stream of a concert. Yeah, yeah, that's something that's going to happen, which is a good promotion thing. On which platform?、Um, on it's、you. only audio, so I think it's going to be on the radio. I'm not, I... <laughs> I'm not that、so、sure. I'm not that sure. We only got that,、um, we just booked that. Uh, yeah,、so、isn't it the thing that, that Pure Clarine did? And you four and maybe, maybe yeah. yeah. It is at the radio station. Yes,、yeah. it's with、um, 886. It's possible both that they record it、uh, and show it、yeah. video and audio. So, okay, so it's a live stream that organized by someone else. Are you planning to do some live streams by yourself? No, we haven't、no. planned that、uh, until now. And I don't think that. It is going to be needed actually because I really hope that the situation is going to be better until April. And then we have this one show, and then there's going to be a show in summer、um, at a festival. And I think there's, there's going to be more, more shows that we could play at as soon as all the venues are able to open again. Because right now it's such an uncertain thing that no one's really、um, planning. Already, yeah, because they all think like, and I really get it. No, maybe we we have to postpone it again. But the thing is,、uh, I think to to be realistic, because we 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 saw it in the last two years,、um, you know, from April till、uh, October or November, that's something we can assume to be to be able to play to be able to play.、Mm. That's and that's quite a long a long time.、Um, Yeah, I think that's that's. But it's, it's going a, by so fast every time. Yeah, yeah, but but I th- I think we have to to use this time because it's summer. It's、yes. warm outside. Um, the pandemic pandemic isn't going to hit that hard、yeah. like right now. And、uh, to be realistic and say, okay, from November on, it could be possible that we cannot play a show anymore. So this time we're going to use. Again, for recording, for studio stuff, and everything. Exactly, and then、yeah. um, see what twenty twenty three is going to um uh, to yeah, be like. To, to yeah, be like, yeah. We'll, see. we'll see. But the last two years were exactly the same. You know, from April or May until November. Yeah, and、um, now we'd have a show、shows. um in the end of February. It would have, it would have been at um Arena Wien. Yeah, and it's uh this event is called Underground Wrestling. And now it's postponed to December again because it already was postponed from. Last、um, December 2021 to Feb- February now. Yeah.、Um, now it can't happen again, and it's re- really sad because I think it's going to be a fun event. And now it's、yeah. postponed to the 18th of December 2022. Yeah. yeah, that's what I keep、uh, noticing when when I interview bands and I talk to bands from all over the world. It seems like there's a tendency that in summer there is going to be gigs, and in winter it's a recording time. Because in summer you can play outside, so it's not so strict. Yeah. So most probably, <laughs> yeah, the next couple of years is going to be exactly like that. I mean,、We're、we just, have to assume that、yeah. this is going to happen. We have to be realistic, but we don't hope it's going to be like this. Yeah. Exactly. But making the best out of the situation. We just have to try to make the best out of it. So the plan is,、uh, in a couple of days, when this recording comes out, you will have a single coming out. Yes, exactly. Yeah, two days after. Yeah.、Um, On Friday, eleventh of February. Yes. Twenties forever. Where can people hear this song? All streaming platforms. And as I understand, you can even、uh, pre-save. Exactly. Yeah, that would be great. Everyone who's listening right yeah, now, yeah, but just on, on Spotify to pre-save it on Spotify. People who use Spotify can can pre-save and also follow us on Spotify. That would be great as well. Yeah, please. Spotify is your main platform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean that that's the main, you know, when it comes put, to streaming platforms. Actually, yeah,、yes. yeah. It's, it's it's because it's the biggest. It's it's the one we put the most focus on. Yeah, because and, I think almost everyone I know has it and uses Spotify. 
Yeah, I mean, even I, for example, this uh, podcast comes out everywhere, but I promote mainly Spotify because I can see in my analytics that most of the people are listening on Spotify anyway. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah mm. definitely. And where can people follow Burns Well? Um, social media. And at this point, I think it's going to be TikTok as well because we have this homework now. Yeah. <laughs> we have to create a TikTok account. Yeah, definitely. So check us out on TikTok and yes. Instagram for sure. Facebook as well. Yeah, Facebook, Instagram, yeah. Um, TikTok. And sure. um, if there's new concerts coming up, it's all um, put into our homepage so you can see all the stuff that's new and that's going to happen the next month spurnswellmusic.com right yeah spurnswellmusic.com that's our homepage do you have lyrics on your website no we don't we don't that's a great input though thank you <laughs> all right so which song are we going to hear at the end of the episode bride bride is our first single yes and it's actually about i don't know kick ass kick ass and do the stuff you love and you feel best at. Yeah. All right. Luca and Ella, thank you very much. Thank you so much for having us. Thanks. Thank you very much. Have a great evening. a really cool song. Thanks, Burnswell. And thank you for listening to Interceptor Beyond Podcast. Don't forget to follow the show on Spotify, and if you like what you're hearing, rate the show on Spotify or any other podcast platform that you prefer.